Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of JMP Outdoors. I hope everybody's doing. I hope everybody's doing good in these troubling, horrible, you know, situation. Um, first off and foremost, my prayers go to everybody affected by the last hurricane from Florida to North Carolina, and now Hurricane Milton. So, if there's anybody in between Tampa and, I guess, the middle of Florida, please, I urge you, don't be a superhero. Get the hell out, evacuate. This, this Hurricane Milton is going to be no joke. He is going to be Katrina on steroids, according to what they're saying. But I'm urging everybody, you know, please, you know, get out. So, apparently they're saying that Milton is going to be a cat five over you know heading into Florida that it's a destructive life threatening storm surge is expected along the western Gulf Coast. Um bad winds I'm hearing up to a hundred and eighty miles an hour you know I just saw something that on uh, Blue Gabe's channel that I don't think I've ever seen before. And that's where basically he takes and fills his boats with water. Interesting idea. Never, never heard of that. But I guess the heavier they are, the more less likely they are to get thrown around. Um... Let's see here. They're saying that Milton has the potential to be one of the most destructive hurricanes on record for West Central Florida. You know, I feel sorry for Florida. You know, I almost feel like Florida is like, you know, the Lennox Lewis to... The hurricane being Mike Tyson, where it's like they're getting a one-two knockout, which is just horrible. Um, let's see here. I mean, this is just... So, they have issued... Um, what is it? Hurricane warnings covering much of central Florida on the Atlantic side, including Tampa. Wait a minute. Gulf side. Gulf side. My bad. Gulf side to the Atlantic side, including the Tampa Bay area, Fort Myers, Orlando, Cape Canaveral, Daytona Beach. Um, they're saying... Sustained winds of 74 miles per hour to higher. Conditions are expecting. Conditions are expected within the warning area to general. Uh, within 36 hours. Or in this case, beginning late Wednesday night, early Thursday. So, the next 12 to 24 hours, then Milton, uh, let's see, the forecast calls for intensity over the next 12 to 24 hours, then Milton will weaken gradually on approach to Florida because of increasing wind shear and dry air, but should remain a major hurricane through landfall. Sometime later Wednesday. So, e enough of that. 
So basically, what I'm, I'm telling my subscribers and anybody who may watch this video, the few people that will watch it, please be careful, get out, evacuate, and don't be a damn hero. We don't need any more dead because of Hurricane. You know, Hurricane Helena caused enough, you know, death and destruction. You know, we don't need any more. So, thank you for watching. Um, this is JMP Outdoors signing off. Saying, you know, see you on the next adventure. See you in the next video. I'm out of here.